Thank you, Bill, and the alumni band. That last selection brought back a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving 1967, marching down the streets of Detroit in the Hudson Thanksgiving Day Parade. Good evening. On behalf of the congregation and of Reverend Jim Richards, uh, we want to welcome you here tonight. Uh, Jim unfortunately had to attend a required training session so, uh, for the clergy, so he's not able to be here. But he wanted me to convey his uh, warmest welcome to you. If we can do anything to make your stay here this evening more enjoyable, please let us know. Just a couple of housekeeping uh, ideas. The uh, women's restroom is through this door immediately to your right, uh, out the main doors and to the right, and then at the right in the corner is the men's restroom. And uh, I saw some people dealing with the steps. We do have an elevator, so it's out to the left from the main doors here. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we gather tonight to celebrate the start of the Christmas season to thank you for the spirit of community we enjoy and to remember those who've made a positive difference in our lives and in the community. As the Christmas tree lights begin to shine, may we acknowledge the true gift of Christmas, the light of the world, your son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, amen. Bill? This time it's my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Mayor of the City of Canova, Mr. Don Bias. Good evening to everyone. Uh, we want to welcome everyone on behalf of the City of Canova that's come out tonight. Uh, the weather's not cooperating too good, but anyway, uh, this is something that has happened. I believe this is a 12th year, and uh, every year it seems to get better. I know this year we had several more uh, put names in the book than what we've had before. And uh, each year, people says, well, who is Charlotte Webb? Don, she'll point her out to us. So I asked her tonight if it would not embarrass her if I would ask her to stand and let everyone know who Charlotte Webb is. She's the lady who started it. Thank you. We appreciate everything that the citizens of Canova does for us. Um, since I took over as mayor the first of the year, we, we had a beautification committee, but we sort of uh, was a little lax in what we done, so we started uh, having meetings every month, and I put a lady in Canova that's got all kinds of vim and vitality, and that was Nancy Price. Nancy's the chairperson of this uh, uh, beautification committee, and I just want to tell you a few things that uh, the beautification committee has done. Uh, they're, of course, they're in charge of the tree lighting ceremony uh, that we uh, have each year. Uh, this year they replaced about 50 trees in Canova that had deteriorated and had rotted with uh, rosebuds, trees. Uh, they did all the fall decorations for uh, uh, the Autumn Fest up and down the highway and up and down the streets. Uh, we, they also put up a new sign coming into Canova, uh, which cost us a little over $5,000, but the one we had was really in bad shape. And they uh, took the initiative to do that. Also, our employees at the City of Canova has really been great in helping uh, the beautification committee in doing work. They couldn't do it all by themselves. And it's like me with mayor. I cannot do anything unless I have cooperation from the committees and the residents of Canova that's been very good to do this. So the beautification committee even had a luncheon for all of our 45 or 50 city employees this year to show their appreciation for what they what they done also and they've just been been real good to uh, help in do, doing things like this I know I may get shot over this but I'm going to call out the names of the beautification committee I'd like for you to stand and remain standing until we call everyone's name out 
Nancy Price, would you please stand? Linda Miles Cole. Debbie Powell. Debbie Mills. Tracy Pavlowski. Carol Sisko. And also Gordon Jones, who is our city, employ uh, city planner. He has also helped with this. So let's give everyone there is over there. Give everyone a round of applause. Again, we just want to say welcome to the city of Canova, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the program tonight. God bless you. to get to share with you this evening from the Word of God in the second chapter of the book of Luke the reason that this season is so special is because many, many, many years ago God sent a gift to us a great gift the greatest gift that we have ever had the privilege to receive as mankind and that gift was the Son of Jesus Christ. It's the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He wrapped him up in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And yet today there have been thousands of people who have refused to open that gift and accept the grace of an almighty God who was given thousands of years ago. And so in this time of season, is when people seem to be the most open and receptive to the message that God gave to us so many years ago. So please listen as I read from the second chapter of the book of Luke. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. 
this census first took place while Serenius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. <laughs> Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
pleasure, privilege once again to read the names of so many that we have remembered over the years, lost family members, friends, community members. We also have some folks who we're going to honor this evening who are still with us and are still big parts of our community. When we get into our local names, I want to mention a name that we remember this evening, a man who is now lying in state in the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C., 41st President of the United States, who we just lost a few days ago. This is where J.H.W. Bush. Remember him this evening, along with all of our community folks. So let's begin with our uh, memorials. Matt Akeley, Patty Akeley, Andy Ray Atkins, Elizabeth Atkins, Brett Atkins, Ellis Atkins, Earl Atkins, Gary Atkins Sr., Herbert Atkins, Irene Atkins, James Atkins, Jerry Atkins, Joni Atkins, Norma Atkins, Paul Atkins, Sadie Atkins, Sarah Atkins, Shauna Atkins, JT Atkins, Thurman Atkins, Virgil Atkins, Katie and Terry Akers, Lesh Akers, Maxine and Roy Akers, Clonette Amos, Arnold, Donald R. Bailey, Michael Bash, Charles Rusty and Thelma Bash, Billy Bellamy, Charles Oz Bellamy, Thurman Bellamy, Judy Hay Bess, Bruce Bevins, Delphine Bevins, Earl Bevins, Darlene Bias, Imogene Bias, Wetzel Bias, Harry Billups, J.J. Billups, John Billups, Joe Billups, Roma Gail Billups, Pearl Billups, Jean and Emma Jean Black, Mike Black, Junior Blake, Bert and Jean Blair, Junior Blankenship, Mary Blankenship, Maggie Blokes, Kurt and Juanita Bocook, James D. Bowen, Steve Bowen, Bertle Bradford, Ann Lambert Bradley, William Thomas Bradley, Jr., Dr. Fred H. Brown, J. Brown, Sarah J. Brown, Dolly Browning, Raymond Browning, Francis Brumfield, Jesse Brumfield, Leonard C. Brumfield, Wade Brumfield, Julie Burgess, Alice Burns, Roger and Jackie Byard, David Lee Caldwell, Judy Caldwell, Harry Caldwell, Dale Campbell, Denise Campbell, Danny Campbell, Thomas Cannon, H.V. and Kathleen Carpenter, Hazel Carver, Harold Carver, Ernest Cottle, Bill Cottle, Edward F. Chadwick, Montre Chafin, William Chafin, Wanda Chafins, Denville Chandler, Leroy Chandler, Dale Christian, Larry Christian, Tony Christian, Arnold Lee Sisko, Rondo Sisko, Charity Kokenauer, Sam Kokenauer Sr., Gurley Rhoda Coldiron, James Cole, Bob Collins, Joshua Collins, Carl Cornell, Bob Cornwell, 
Dan L. Cornwell, Jennings Cornwell, Neola Cornwell, Wilma Cornwell, Elaine Craigcraft, Max Crow I, Rebecca Crow, Florence A. Maurer Davidson, Claude Maynard Davis, Thorne Davis, Dick Dawson, Clyde Dawson, Irma Dawson, Katie Dawson, Sherry Dawson, Bill Dean, Dennis Lee Dean, Ronnie Dickerson, Charles Douglas Dixon, Denver Dixon, Curdy Dorsey, Joy Dorsey, Lowell Dorsey, Richie Dorsey, Billy Jack Drown, Elba Drown, Elizabeth Drown, Sally Chapin Edwards, Eldia Elkins, Misty Dawn Endicott, James Michael Evans, Stephanie Evans, Nina Pack Farley, Dr. Samuel A. Farley, Don Feely, Glenn File, Charles E. Felty, Charlie and Frankie Felty, Chucky Felty, Miranda Felty, Greg Ferguson, Louise Ferguson, Nora Ferguson, Ron Ferguson, Andrew Frazier, Anthony Frazier, Elizabeth Frazier, Howard Frazier, Leola Frazier, Vernal Frazier, Willa Thacker Frazier, Eric Freeman, Ed Fry, Gilbert Fry, Ruth Fry, Claude Edward Gilkerson, Martha Gilkerson, Walter Gilkerson, Glenn Gillum, Ida Mae Goodrich, Lida Griffith, Mark Hannah Griffith, Mark and Irma Griffith, Richard Chapdu Griffith, Dick Griffith, Rudy Griffith, Simp and Ruth Griffith, Sarah and Willard Griffith, Betty Jane Grimm, Frank Hale, Oma Hale, Jim C. Hamer, Eunice Hamer, J.P. Hamer, Johnny Hampton, Faye Hanlon, George Pat Hanlon, John Hanlon, Blanche and A.J. Hardwick, Lace Hardwick, Basil Hatfield, Willie Hatfield, Garnet Hatton, Emmons Hay, Kenny Hay, Kenneth and Geneva Hay, Bill Heck, Greg Heck, Brian Henderson, Al Henley, Jerry Hensley, Addie Hewlett, Frank Hewlett, Harold Hicks, Edward Hill, Larry Hill, Stephen Hitchcock, Bob Holland, Charles Buss Holland, Gladys Holland, Grace Roten Holland, Jennings J. Holland, Nellie Horn, Buck Hooser, Edna Hooser, Joan Hoover, Lucian Hughes, Pauline Hughes, Sammy Joe Hughes, Sean Hunley, Fred Hurley, Betty S. Hutchinson, Paul Hutchinson, Kathleen Gerald, Michelle Jeffries, Don Johnson, Minnie Johnson, T.J. Johnson, Dorothy Arlene Jones, Terry Jones, Claude and Eileen Jordan, Joe Jordan, Janice Cottle Justice, John Estel Justice, Mabel Keezer, 
Doug Kaiser, George Kaiser, Loretta Kaiser, May Kaiser, Cassandra Lavalley, Rachel Lavalley, Carolyn and Harry Lambert Jr., Ellen Fry and Harry Lambert Sr., Kathleen Lowe Rowe Lebrecht, Vin Lamaster, Virginia Pratt Lamaster, Tom Lewis, Carrie Chatdu Lindsay, Clyde Lindsay, David Lowe, David Dale Likens II, Joey Malcolm, Anna Jean Mann, Billy Markham, Howard Markham, Roy L. Markham, Dale and Eunice Massey, Peggy Massey, Arlene M. Thompson Mathis, George Paddle Mathis, Helen Mathis, Leif Mathis, Brian Maynard, Gray Maynard, Frank McCall, Libby McCall, Hazel McComas, Walt McGlone, Jean McGlone, Jason McGlone, Roy McKinney, Joe McKnight, Ben McSorley Jr., Ruth Meredith, John R. Meredith, Jack Miller, Garland Mills, Jean Mills, Joe Mills, Lena Mills, Richard Mills, Jean Mitchell, Bertha Money, Mom Money, Joan Money, Byron and Leonta Morris, Flossie and William B. Morris, Sandra Jane Morris, William Morris, Alan Jennings Morrison, Barbara Marone, David Lee Mosley, John H. Miles, Stacy Jean Miles, Reverend Donald L. Napier, Patricia Napier, Wilford Napier, J.B. Neal, Erskine Newman, Muriel Newman, Carolyn Nicholson, Michael T. Norris, Maud Noble, Judy Knoll, Linda Knoll, Clifton Pack, Wanda Pace, Michelle Pace, Eula Jane Parsley, Charles David Pelfrey, Marvin Pelfrey, Andrea Jividen Pennington, Alice Perdue, Don Michael Perdue, Harold Ray Perdue, Luke Perdue, Albert J. A.J. Perry, Bradley Thomas Perry, Carol Sue Perry, David Allen Perry, David Oscar Perry, Jean Perry, Josephine Perry, Melinda Perry, Thelma Perry, Charles Peters, Elsa Peters, Louise Peters, Randall Peterman, Dustin Duke Phillips, Kim Pearson, Frank Plymouth, Larry Plymouth, Ruth Plymouth, Norman E. Poline, Alice Porter, Joe Porter, May Hatton Porter, Alma Powell, Bill Powell, Junior Powell, Mary Powell, Charles and Helen Pratt, Garland A. Pratt, Hazel W. Pratt, Warren L. Pratt, Jan Price, Tib and Francis Price, Tib W. Price, James Shea Pruitt, Barbara Pruitt, Les Pruitt, Ruth Ann Pruitt, Lefty Pruitt, Betty Rakes, Deborah L. Rakes, Gladys Rakes, Jeff Rakes, Pete Rakes, Virginia Rakes, Mary Frances Chambers Reynolds, Neville Reynolds, James Rice, Guy Roark, 
Thelma Roark, Charlie Roller, Sarah Francis Roberts, James M. Robertson, Della Mae Robertson, Nick Robertson, Ralph and Mary Robertson, Virgil Robertson, Harold Burr and Jane Robinson, Nolda Robinson, Lucy C. Rollins, Benjamin B.J. Ronk, Bill Ross, Daisy Ross, Franklin Ross, Herb Ross, Taylor L. Ross, John Roten, Ann Rowe, Clifford Bow, and Martha Rowe, Susie Rowe, John L. Ruff, Papa John, Hiram G. Rutherford, Connie Porter Ryan, Clyde Sammons, Margaret Sammons, Pat Sammons, Becky Felty Salyers, Bob Saunders, Imogene Saunders, Faye E. Seville, John L. Seville, Gladys and Edwin Sayer, Edwin Nooney Sayer, Ruth Ann Scarberry, Xavier Scott, Eddie Short, Robert Shrewsbury, Bertha Skeens, Billy Lee Sloan II, Bubby, Cecil and Vanjie Sloan, Betty Smith, Clinton Smith, Debbie Smith, Donald Smith, Jack Smith, Joshua James Smith, Larry Smith, Mary K. Smith, Lyle Smith, Paul Smith, Ted and Myrtle Smith, Tyson Cato Smith, Eric Sparks, Helen Sperry, Jay Sperry, Gerald Spittler, Betty D. Money Spry, Granny Spry, Don Spry, Donald Leo Spry II, Leo Spry, Papa Spry, Patty S. Staley, Floyd and Marcella Stark, Claude Starr, Shade Steele, Violet Steele, Helen Stevens, Herbert Stevens Sr., Steve Stoner, Dr. Roscoe G. Stotts, Ruby O. Stotts, James Jim Sullivan, James W. Sullivan, Norma L. Sullivan, Alma Taylor, Michael David Taylor, Mike Taylor, Frank and Lola Thacker, Jerry J.B. Thacker, Rudolph Thompson, Eleanor Turner, Larry Joe Valdez, Shane Wall, J.K. Walker II, Terry Walker, Butch Wallen, Rodney Wallen, Billy Ward, Blanche Ward, Emery Ward Sr., James D. Ward, Tommy Ward, Jerry A. Warren, Mark Stephen Smith Warren, Donald Watts, Edith Marie Watts, Elsie Watts, Inus Lynette Watts, Paul B. Watts, Opal Way, Claude Webb, Michael Scott Webb, Charles F. Wexler, Jamie Wellman, C. E. Weatherall, Tracy Weatherall, Harry Wheeler, Becky Wheeler, Becky White, Hazel Witt, Jimmy Witt, Sally Witt, Jeremiah Wilkes, Sug Willis, Betty Wood, Stanley E. Wood, Shereen Pelfrey, Sherry Woody, Jim and Pat Woodyard, Gaylene Workman, John Workman Jr., Johnny Lee Workman, Johnny Lee Workman, Helen B. Yeoman, William G. Yeoman, Jim York, Roger Young, Clyde Young, Jim Young, Jerry Young, Alberta Moore, Harry Lee Moore, and Kathy Lee Moore. And we mentioned some names who were 
honored, contributions made in their honor, Charles Oshel, Pastor Jim Richards, Sheila Wheeler, Carol and Brent Smith family, and Pat and LaDonna Turner.
chapter. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance or to rejoice. For he has made everything beautiful in its time. It's a good thing to reminisce and remember. And it's a great thing to be able to rejoice because of the memories you have of that loved one that you have lost. Share those memories. Share them with one another. Share them in your own heart this Christmas season because that's as far as that loved one will ever be from you. Let's bow our heads. Father, again, what a privilege it is to be able to live in a place that we can all come together. These folks are here this evening, Father, because they have all experienced a great loss. At some time in their life, a loved one, a friend, someone who's been very special to them. Help them, Father, to understand and know that it is because of your timing. It is because you have the privilege in our lives to make those things beautiful according to your time. Give us that strength, Father, that we need each and every day as we begin to reminisce, to remember the loved ones that we have lost. Let us draw support and strength from one another, but also from you as we bow our heads and give you the praise and the glory that truly belongs to you. For it is in your Son's name we pray, and amen. I do believe that you are dismissed. You can make the trek towards the tree for the lighting up there. I think if you don't have a candle, they may have some more out front that you can pick up.